festival of booths. A great remembrance of the past, where God did mighty acts for his people. Command from the Lord, verses 33 to 36. Five days after the day of atonement, the people of God were to begin the festival of booths. It was a week-long feast that began on the 15th day of the seventh month. Since it celebrates the people's salvation from Egypt, it was fitting for them to cease from work and to worship before the Lord. As individuals, families, and as a church we need to look back at what the Lord had done for us and be grateful to Him for His goodness towards us. Summary of Annual Feasts, verses 37 to 38. The purpose of these feasts is to help the people remember the Lord and His work on their behalf and to worship Him appropriately. In the church tradition, some would celebrate the festivals in an elaborate way. Same would not celebrate at all. Paul gave a wise counsel to the believers in Rome about celebrations that each one should be fully convinced in their own mind. Romans 14, 5. Whatever we do, we should do it for the glory of God and for the edification of God's people. Explanation of the Feast, verses 39 to 44. The reason for staying in these temporary dwellings was to remain later generations of how the Lord had cared for their ancestors in the wilderness after he had miraculously redeemed them from slavery in Egypt. Thus, this festival was an object lesson for later generations on the history of the Lord's provision as well as celebration of how he continued to keep his promise of providing for them. Letter in Nehemiah's time it was celebrated joyfully, 8, 14. Loving Father, we thank you for your great salvation. We celebrate your goodness in our lives.